what's different in Verdi is that uh, he comes out of uh, a tradition which, which is more based on what the voice wants to do and the flexibility of breath and, uh, and responding to the text in a certain way. So uh, in conducting this music, uh, you have to kind of throw out your 21st century idea of how time moves. It has, it has to do with uh, not just how we feel music, but how we feel time. You know, there were no digital clocks. You would never say this or that event happens at 6.58. It would just be like kind of 7 o'clock-ish based on the church bells and the position of the sun in the sky. And the music feels the same way. It's not, it's not like that most of the time. It breathes and expands and contracts in this beautiful way. You know, I immersed myself so deeply in this score and had such specific ideas of, of how I wanted every moment to go. And then I got into the rehearsal room last week for the first day and immediately began reacting and, and, and changing things because every individual artist it, the color of the voice, the texture, the attitude, the personality, you know, all of that has a bearing on the music. And I would be inhuman to say, no, I'm not going to react to who you are as an artist. It's my job to integrate my own conception of the piece with, with the conceptions of the artist. Mm -hmm. 